Today is Red Cross Giving Day. So here to tell us more about the day and how you can get involved. We have Rich Woodruff from the Utah Red Cross. And I love how in the information you guys sent, every eight minutes you're helping somebody. You know, a lot of people don't realize most of that's home fire. We mm -hmm. respond to over 64,000 disasters a year, big and small. So that's actually true. Uh, about every couple of days here in Utah, in some areas like Las Vegas, it's three or four a day. Mm -hmm. Which fire. is just crazy. So yeah. today the goal is hashtag help one family. So mm -hmm. talk to us about how all of us can join you and the American Red Cross to do so much good across the country and locally. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't realize we, we get no government funding at all. So we really do rely on the generosity of donors. Mm -hmm. And we really do help one family at a time. So when you think about a donation to the Red Cross, uh, think about the things that that donation pays for. It could be uh, blankets in a shelter, food, clothing, prescription medications, things that people need in times of disaster, and also other services we offer, service to the armed forces, that sort of thing. So it all counts. Okay, so how can we get involved? How can we help you today? Well, we make it real easy to make a donation. Uh, if you go to our website, redcross.org, you'll see a lot about Giving Day. Mm -hmm. uh, so ways to donate and that would include a text donation uh, sometimes you see this in major disasters text the word red cross to 90999 and that's a ten dollar donation right out of your phone bill you can also send a check you can call 1-800 red cross we make it real easy and we're really grateful and i think it's really also important to note that you have great buying power so just because i give you ten dollars you can turn a lot of you can turn a lot out of that simple donation well we, we can and we're very efficient you know over 90 cents or on average 90 cents of every dollar is invested right into our services. Part of the reason is because we're over 90% volunteer driven. Mm -hmm. That saves a lot of money and we are very efficient and good stewards of those donations. Now, there is some rewards for helping out. Kind of mm -hmm. talk to us about that part of all this. Yeah, you know, we always like to provide some thank you gifts besides, you know, feeling good about mm -hmm. helping. Which is the most important that. reward. It is, it is. And of course, we want to incent people as well. So again, when you go to redcross.org, you can get all the details about Giving Day. But it is today and we do appreciate you uh, sharing that message with our audience. Okay, and we see you here every week and we talk about all of the good you do. We talk about house fires, mm -hmm. but you're also helping people prepare for a problem as well. So I think that it should is a good reminder that you're not just responding to issues, mm -hmm. you're trying to prevent them as well. Prepare, respond, recover. That's the cycle that we live in. And we install free smoke alarms. That's coming up uh, very soon. We have our annual Sound the Alarm campaign. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of smoke alarms, you know, and those have to be paid for. Some are donated, but we also have to fund that program as well. And so stay tuned for more information on that. That's a great big an annual event that is saving lives. Okay, so much good going on, especially today, March 27th. So make sure if you have a moment, go online. We'll link you to the Red Cross website, abc4.com forward slash GMU. Get right there and hashtag help one family. Rich, thanks very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate you joining us.